Hello everyone, this is Joel from CanHub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial where this time we're going to be talking about the thoracic surface of the diaphragm. So what we're going to be doing here on this tutorial is covering the major and also minor openings found on the thoracic surface of the diaphragm. So essentially we're going to be looking at the image that you see now on the screen. Now this image is a cut on your thorax and what we're doing is then looking from cranial view to then look at the different structures here that we find around the diaphragm, this muscle here. The very first thing we're going to be doing also is just describing what is the diaphragm. Which you see here on this image highlighted in green. This is an image of the anterior view of the thorax. You can see a few thoracic organs, namely the heart, the lungs, and here the diaphragm. And if you remember, the diaphragm is essentially a musculotendinous sheet made up of then skeletal muscle and a central tendinous part. It is found in the trunk of your body and separates the thoracic and abdominal cavities as you can clearly see here. So you have the thoracic cavity and below you find a bit of the abdominal cavity and dividing then this green structure, the diaphragm or highlighted in green. Now the superior border of the diaphragm is continuous with the xiphoid process anteriorly to the lower six costal cartilages laterally and the first to the third lumbar vertebrae posteriorly. So just a bit of the coordinates if you want to find the diaphragm in your body using these bony landmarks as coordinates. Now the next slide that we're going to see here, the next image going back to the thoracic surface of the diaphragm here, we're highlighting now what is known to be as the right central tendon of the diaphragm. The diaphragm in mean, the center is comprised of a tendon called the central tendon of the diaphragm. And the central tendon of the diaphragm comprised of a strong aponeurosis. And here we see the right central tendon to be more specific. Now the central tendon plays a role in respiration. Contraction of your diaphragm during respiration draws the central tendon inferiorly. And this will then partially flatten the dome of the diaphragm, which results in lowering of intrathoracic pressure and therefore enlargement of the thoracic cavity, allowing then air to enter your lungs. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and Atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full length video and master anatomy.